Hello YouTube and other fellow stackers. Midwest Stacker here with another unboxing. Got my unboxing knife, got my box, got my uh, two-hearted ale, delicious Friday evening beverage for the adult beverage takers. It's my go-to beer. It uh, helps the work woes go away. So I got a box here. Provident Metals, go figure, right? Like, you guys didn't realize that already, because you know how I stand with Provident. They uh, they offer the best prices. MX might offer more options, but Provident definitely offers best prices. But that's beside the point. That's my go-to bullion dealer. Love them. I've never had any issues with them. Shipping is just awesome. So let's get this opened. However, before I open this... I would like to emphasize this video, emphasize? Might have the wrong term. I would like to say that I can't stand, hate, hate them. Let's, let's make sure you guys realize where I'm coming from. I can't stand colorized coins. Piss me off to no extent. It is a waste of a premium. It drives the price up for no reason. It is... They're, they're just terrible, right? Like, I just, oh, God. Colorized coins are just so painful. Oh, my God. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm stressing just thinking about it. Mm. I got a drink. It's been a long week at work. It's been a long week at home. God, this knife is super sharp. I think I've told you about this knife. This was made from a like standard file that was turned into a knife. This thing is awesome. I don't remember where I got it. It's a name. LCO. I'm sure that's the company that made this, but whatever. Awesome knife. So I can't stand color icons. <clears throat> However, can only imagine what's going to be in this package. The People's Bullion Dealer. Is that like the People's Eyebrow? Maybe the People's Elbow? elbow? Someone's going to tell me that. <sighs> Some suckers. I don't understand why they keep putting these in here. Maybe because I am a sucker for stacking silver. What do you guys think? I don't think that's true. I think stacking silver and gold is probably the smartest thing you can do right now. But, you know, Provident might be telling me something different. Someone's getting rich and ain't me. Let's just get this stuff. Did I tell you guys that I hate colorized coins? Like, hate them? Eight colorized coins. Oh my god. Drive me insane. Let's start here. I'm sure this is where my paperwork's at since it wasn't in the box, so. Nope, yep, paperwork's in there. So to start with, I'll get that out of the way. Oh. Nice magnet. You know what? Where's the next round? We are way overdue. I tracked the dates these were released, and we are months overdue from the next privateer round. Ugh. Zombucks, every month. No, I'm sorry, every quarter released. Awesome series. Could keep up with it. Hercules set, every month released. Awesome series. Kept up with it. Sold most of my series, most of my sets. Didn't do too bad, but this, not released in a timely manner. So I had to fill up my order just to get to over 200 because that's what I like to spend. So these are the last two coins I needed to complete my 2016. You guys can see that, 2016. Um, I collect, um, I should just bring those up and, vi and view it. I, I will, I will video those. 
Um, most people click, collect tubes, which is what, 20 coins? Um, I collect boxes in airtights, and those are 26 coins, I believe, 25 in the box and one on the outside, so I know what year it is. Um, I need to do a video on those so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But these are the last two I needed for 2016. That's done, so I can start 2017 in 2017. So that's good. Um, I always try to stack a little bit of gold along with um, my silver stacking. And I have a special box. There's a video way back in my series about how I've been trying to fill one ounce of gold but I do it one gram at a time. And why do I do that? Because, yes, I might be paying more over spot for gold, but it fills out my order nicely where I can put in for every five to 10 ounces of gold, or I'm sorry, of silver, I can get a gram of gold. And I do that every time. And what basically happens is after a certain amount of silver, I have an ounce of gold. And it just, it balances nicely. It's, it doesn't break the bank. Um, yeah, sure, this is expensive. I mean, it's, you know, gold. But it adds a nice little touch to my case where I can just keep stacking it. And I can look at my collection and go, damn, I have a lot of silver. But, oh, look. Look at all that gold I've got. It's stacking up nicely. And it's not a rush. This is a long-term investment. It's not meant for a quick flip. Um, you know, these are, these are very cool. They're very, you know, nicely done. It's easily, you know, kept in a, in a nice container. Um, there has been, and, and I've got to test this. I don't know how to actually test these. Um, there has been stuff floating around with these becoming fakes. Uh, the Chinese are getting a hold of, you know, whatever they're, they're reproducing these and they're not actually gold, you know, they're just gold plated. Um, I feel that the stuff I order from Provident or Atmex or whoever I order it from, I'm getting legit. I'm not buying from secondhand market. I'm not buying from, um, random people. These are legit from a dealer that I have transaction logs, these videos, you know, something I can go back and say, look, look, here's a serial number. It's in a video in a YouTube. You just watched me unbox it. This just came back as fake, right? I can, I can hopefully use that. But that's beside the point. So I do, I do try to stack a little bit of gold, um, with every order. And I know I haven't been doing a whole lot of unboxing videos lately and I've just been super busy, but this one I thought I'd do because have I told you how much I hate hate colorized coins. I, I, I feel like I haven't stressed that enough. Let me say that one more time. I hate colorized coins. But you know what I do love? I love fucking zombies. And I love Vikings. If there was a zombie Viking coin, I would probably go bankrupt purchasing it because I don't, I, I just, I don't know. Call me crazy. I, I mean, I've got zombies tattooed all over me. Um, I don't have Vikings tattooed all over me, but I really love Vikings. So these are from Provident. I don't believe these are exclusive from Provident, but that's who's selling them. And I wasn't going to buy these until this one, the goddess of death. So let's get these open first, and then we will review them and take a closer look. Because that's the third one in the series, and, and like I said, I don't know what order these came in. but They're colorized. Yes, they do sell the uncolorized version. Oh, that's actually interesting. They're not closed. Super weird. Yeah, no, that's super actually weird. Why wouldn't the lid be on the proper way? Look, so this is how it is in the bag with COA, and the coin is face open. You'd think they would close that. It's weird. So the artist that did these is actually very good. He He's done a lot of great works, and to turn his 
art into coins was actually uh, a pretty big thing. And these things are awesome. And the fact that I think, I don't, I don't think Thor, I think Odin, I think Odin was the first coin that came out. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. I'm sure I might be actually wrong. So a thousand minted. Um, when I looked at Providence website, there was only seven left when um, God of Death came out. And I was like, oh, wow, I really like that coin. Unfortunately, it's colorized, but I really like that coin. So now I have to go back and get the whole damn set. So I went back and I looked and there's only seven of these left. I'm like, no shit. Okay, because they were out of stock. And for only being seven left, I've got 464 out of 1,000. That's super weird to me. So that makes me ask the question, are they shipping these to order? So if someone orders day one and they order the first order, they get coin one or do they get something random pulled? Because there's only seven coins left and this is order number or coin number 464. And I don't, I actually, I don't care about that. The COA is nice, whatever, but the coin is growing on me. Let's see if I can get out of here. Oh, wow, that's a tight fit. So, yes, it's colorized. Let's see if I can get this to zoom completely on you, for you guys. There you go. It's not, it's not bad. The thing is, though, I don't think it's going to hold the premium. The backs are all the same, but it's not bad. Don't mind my chewed on nails. I mean, the detail is really good. Right? I mean, does anybody really have anything bad to say about this coin other than it's colorized? I mean, short of being colorized, I can't complain. I want to. Trust me. I want to say, oh my God, this coin is garbage. Like, who puts color on their silver? It's such a high premiums. It's such a waste of money. But it's actually not that bad. This was coin number two. And when I checked this one out, I think there was, I have a thousand, I want to say there was like 250, maybe 300 left. This one's not selling as hot. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Sorry, guys. I've already rambled on for 12 minutes. But look at that. I mean, it's not that bad. But yet, yeah, it's still colorized. I, th I think it's the color in the background with the silver in the front. If they colorized the whole thing or colorized Thor and left the background silver, I think I would not like this as much. But it's actually kind of cool. God, I hate... I really hate non-colorized coins. I really, I, I, they're a complete waste of money, right? Like if, if you're stacking silver for the long term and not worried about spot prices and not worried about, you know, uh, what the return on investment is, when you're talking about shit hit the fan type scenarios, you know, you're not going to get your money back for the colorized in this coin. Woohoo. You know, it's so many out of a thousand and it's, uh, is that a reeded edge? Right. So it's a, you guys can't, you're not gonna be able to see this, but it is a reeded edge. I'm not even gonna try. So it's a reeded edge with a part right here where the, the it's stamped the serial number that's not readed. But like I was saying, you know, it should hit this fan scenario. No one's gonna care if this coin's colorized because it's still an ounce of silver, and you've overpaid for it because it's colorized. And that that's the part that bothers me. Because I'd like to say I'm a stacker first. Oh, by the way, if you want to read this, it's, there you go. It's 333 out of 1,000, but when I checked Provident and I put tried to put 1,000 in the cart, it said it was like 250 left. So I don't know how this is actually working. And I don't know if you guys know that. If there's an item that has got a limited mintage of, let's say, 1,000, and in, on Provident's website, if you put in 1,001 and hit add to cart, it'll actually prompt you and tell you, there's only so many of these left. So you can kind of know how fast something's selling out, or you can know um, how many are left, if you want to place your order now, or if you want to wait a week, you know, something like that. So 
just because there's some instance of a thousand, try adding that full count to the car, and you'll actually see how many have been sold in, in, since the time of release, which is interesting. I, I I think that's not what they're trying to do, but their website's got a bug in it, and well, I'm a website designer, so I always check those things. So this one is the one that came out pretty recently. I've got 97 out of a thousand. Um, like I said, this number doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care what number. I don't care if it's number one. I don't care if it's number, you know, 999 or a thousand. As you know, as long as I'm I'm now completing this set, I don't care. Um, but this is the one that I saw and I said, you know what? I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to go in and I'll buy this set. And this is the coin that did it for me. And why did this coin do it for me? Well, I'm a complete zombie freak. And I'm a Viking freak. And I feel like... This coin offers the best of both. Even though it's the gods of death, and those are, you know, what ghosts or whatever dead people back there. This is the coin that said, holy shit, I don't hate colorized coins right now. Quote, unquote, right now. Wait, wait right now. Um, I still hate colorized coins. God, I, I think I've emphasized that way too much. Sorry, this is, video is dragging on. Back's not bad. But this is the coin I saw, and I was like, shit. They got me. They sucked me in. I'm all in at this point. I want the set. I'm only collecting one of each. I'm not going to go, you know, collecting as many as I can. I don't think the return on investment is that high. There's many, many, many other coins that are worth collecting or adding to your stack, or paying higher premiums for than these. There's no doubt. I, I mean, there's absolutely no doubt. But they're cool. I can't, I can't stop looking at them. Like, they're like, they're just awesome. All right, guys, I have rambled on, I feel like, way too much. Just got off work. It's late. Time to finish my beer. Call it a night. This is Midwest Stacker saying, see you when I see you. Latest.